Hey there, and welcome to BridgeText.com's tutorial on how to change variable names in R. Now, in order to do that, we are going to install some packages first, if you do not have them already. Here are the three package names, and I'm showing you the code so you can sort of install them all at once, um, which is pretty handy. Now, I already have them, so I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to go ahead and change this code so you can actually see what happens you just want to load something in R. If you have the library already installed and you're just trying to load it, you just go like that. You attach the package. And then we're going to go to the next one that we want, which is Tibble. There it is. And then finally, we want to do Tidyverse. So let's go ahead and do cannot type today. Let's go ahead and do tidyverse. All right. So we have attached everything. We're ready to go. Um, and what we want to do now is load the data set. So I can show you how to change some variable names. All right. So just type in empty cars, right? And that is one of the fun little data frames that's R's name for data sets, uh, whatever that comes with R. It's a bunch of information about cars. Great. All right. So we have it loaded here. And you can kind of scroll down and you get an idea of what it's like. Um, you could also use this glimpse command, which is pretty handy to know in R in a whole lot of different contexts. So here, you know, you can you can get a glimpse of the values here, and it's it's a little neater, it's a little shorter look at the uh, at the whole setup. And one thing we're going to notice now, everything is lowercase. All right, so let's go ahead and change one of these variable names. All right, so what we want to do is go ahead and copy in this code that's going to do the work. Then I'm going to run it and let you see what I'm doing. So our data is empty cars. And I'm actually using cars here. I am changing empty cards, right? Because I'm. this is something that happens a lot in R. If you do a change to a data set, um, you often want to leave the original data set untouched and rename the new one. And that's really handy just in case you mess up and you, know, you want to go back to the original for some reason. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, so that's why notice I'm not trying to change empty cards. I am renaming it cars. And so, of course, I couldn't change empty cars even if I wanted because it's it's right there pre-installed. But this is still a good best practice. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight the part of the code that's really important. It's this rename over here. And because my mouse is possessed, I cannot highlight it properly for you. Okay, there we go. All right. So let's say that from cars, which is our data set, we want to take MPG, which is lowercase, and turn into uppercase MPG. This is the way to do it, and we are missing a parenthesis there, so I can glimpse it for you. All right, so we ran this code, which you can pause and look at, and you can copy it, you know, exactly for your own context if you want to. And I just want you to notice that MPG went from lowercase to uppercase. Now, obviously, we could have named it anything. We could have named it Miles. You know, I just named it MPG just to, you know, just to show you. But you could you could really do anything that you wanted. Now. That kind of puts me in mind of something. What if you were working with one case and you wanted to change it to another? So here we have all lowercase stuff, and let's say we wanted to go to uppercase. The pretty handy command for that is rename all. And then you have to specify the data set, um, comma, and to upper. Now, notice here I'm doing the very thing I said that I wouldn't. Um, I'm just kind of overriding the cars data set, right? Now, if I really wanted, let's say that I didn't want to mess with what I just called cars, I could rename this cars to or something, but I'm not going to do that because I just want to show you what it looks like now. So let's do glimpse and do cars. Wow, now everything is uppercase. That's great. We did a lot of work. Um, now, if you're if you're dealing with some gigantic data set that somebody you know just used the wrong case in, you can see how powerful that is. Now, most of the time, you are not going to want to work with uppercase stuff. It's just, it's really, really a pain. Best practice is, you know, lowercase most of the time. So let's just overwrite that one more time. And this time where we had to upper, we're just going to say 
to lower. And then we're going to glimpse it. And oh, there we go. It's all back to lowercase. So you see how powerful that command is in ARP. 